Well, uh, you have your host, The Empress, here. I am sitting across Queen Buckhype. Could you please introduce yourself? Well, I'm Queen, aka Queen Buckhype, and yeah, I live in Germany, Hamburg, Germany, and yeah, that's it. We are together here at EBS. Could you explain what your role is? And indeed, what is your connection with EBS? So, yeah, I'm judging this year for the second time. Ooh, blessed. Hey. Um, and what was the second thing? What is your connection with EBS? Oh, well, EBS is home. It's in Germany. And it was one of my first events ever. Mm. So it's really like my safe space. Yeah. My favorite event, of course. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you are here as a judge because your opinion matters a lot. And do you know whose opinion is also very interesting? Recently, Miss Prissy, Miss Prissy, OG Miss Prissy, mm -hmm. she was on the podcast Beast and she complimented you as being one of the heavy hitters in the king. How did that compliment make you feel? It feels great. Yeah? It feels really great because to hear it from her, yeah, it's just crazy because she's been there since day one and like she's seeing a lot of females, but especially like picking my name, it's like, mm, I'm doing something right. Yay. So yeah, <laughs> I, I, I just love it. I love her. She is a cool person and yeah, I appreciate it. And one thing that was also very noticeable during the podcast is that Miss Prissy said that she stepped off as queen. Um, worldly known, you and Miss Prissy in the crown game are one of the best known queens. Mm -hmm. And that she is now stepping off as queen. Do you feel you have a bigger role to fill as a queen? No, I don't feel like it at all. Uh, well, she passed the queen, like the crown to me, mm -hmm. but I feel like I don't have no pressure because I'm gonna just do whatever I want to do, and as long as it is it like as long as it is like the right way, mm -hmm. I will not change anything about it. And as long as I inspire other people or I can help them or whatever, mm. I'm gonna stay that way. I'm not trying to change because she did something else in her prime time right so i'm gonna just keep doing what i want to do so it's also the same thing what you kept on doing what you want to do when it came to your battle with daisy another <laughs> og it's like queen you really out here with the ogs like that could you tell us how you felt about the battle <sighs> yeah first i was like it's a cool battle because I mean, it's Daisy, yes, of course, right. And yeah, when we start battling, somehow I, I was just dancing because mm. I don't care. I'm a person. I step into a battle, and it doesn't matter who you are. I just mm -hmm. don't care, and I'm just dancing. And like for me, the most important thing is that I feel good. Mm -hmm. I don't care what is around me or you know in general. Mm -hmm. But she also keep pushing me because she was all in my face the whole time right. and barking at me and all that. Right. So it was fun and it also gave me like more energy to mm. go harder. Right. And yeah, but it was definitely a great experience. Um, dope to battle Daisy because yeah, she Daisy. And do you feel that it was different battling out there in the States versus? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah? What was the biggest, like, what was the biggest take on that? They're more like, oh, we're not going to hype her. We're just watching right. what she is doing. Like, the feeling is totally different than overseas. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, they're really biased when it comes to hyping and supporting because, like, before the battle, they're like, oh, Queen Buck, I've used a book. And then mm. in the battle, they're like, I'm not hyping you. That's crazy to me, but I still enjoy it. And as long as I feel comfortable in my cramp, it doesn't matter if you hype me or not. And what is the biggest difference? Like, how is it out here? Here, Germany, here's yeah. more support. Like, if you're doing something crazy, people right. will hype you, no right. matter what. Yeah. Even if you don't like the person, yeah. you don't have to like the person. But as soon as you're doing something crazy, people will immediately hype. And is that only for Germany or like Europe? No, I feel like Europe. Right. 
Right. Yeah. So would it have been a different outcome or at least the feel of the battle if you had your people there as well? Oh, yes, definitely. definitely. So are you going to invite her as well out here to have a battle? Oh, I would not battle her no more. Okay. <laughs> it's done. Yeah. But yeah, no, it would be different, definitely. Yeah. But it's cool it was there. So she had her people. Not right. Dead. And speaking of people battling in the future, who would you like to battle at this current moment? Like a female or in general? Female. When it comes to females, yeah. I have nobody on my list. Really? Because I battled most of the girls already. Right. I battled Lady C4, Daisy, yeah. Terminator. Yeah. Who did I battle too? Yeah, there's a bunch of people. So I really have nobody left on my list mm. at this point. So are you speaking now as the true queen? Oh, yeah. Of crop? Hey. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is amazing. But I would love to know who has been your major inspiration in crump? Yeah, there's a lot of people. No, like the biggest inspiration is my big homie. Yeah. And after my big homie, it's... I would say Miho, Ruin, those kind of people. And then back then when I started, it was Kisses. Like she was my ah, absolute favorite girl. Amazing. And yeah. Now it's just my big homie left, Lady Concrete. Yeah. And Miho, Ruin. And now you are inspira inspiring other people. Yeah, that's crazy to me. It <laughs> is. But thank you so much, Queen Buckeye. You're we welcome. hope to see more of you. I know that today you're judging, but we can't wait to see you on stage. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and... <That's> <laughs>